personally, it's evident to me as a late James Kincaid that Primo Henio is buying whatever Halston Body is selling. We saw him do the bidding of Ford Crew and Halston Body recently when he laid out one Howdy Price. Yeah, he is drinking the lethal accessories. Kool-Aid has had a makeover and not for the better. What has come over Primo? It is that man, Halston Body. Just a ridiculous change. And introducing his opponent from Shizuoka, Japan, weighing in at 169 pounds, the Mountain Breaker, Kodo Hero! On paper, this looks to be a phenomenal match. Of course, a big X factor will be Halston Body on the outside. But two of the greatest young athletes in the United Wrestling Network my money about to go toe to toe. I love the intensity. I love the athleticism of Kodo Hero, but you said it. The X Factor is, again, the lethal accessory Halston body. Will he be able to neutralize that, not take his eye off the ball, and be able to get by Primo? Strange bedfellows in Halston body and Primo Henio. Of course, it was Primo Henio that gave Lord Crew his, his first loss in the United Wrestling Network. In their big rematch, it was Primo Henio that set the stipulation. If I win, I want you to manage me. Speaking of Halston Body, Lord Crew stepped out of the ring, took the count out, lost willingly, and here we are with Halston Body having uh, having Primo Henio under his tutelage. Yeah, to get the managerial services, it was almost you know Halston and Lord Crew that you know be careful what you wish for, but no, no, no. Like you said, Primo has completely bought in to Halston's way of doing business. I think that might have been a little bit of a surprise to Halston, but now they, they are certainly on the same page. I will say body language wise though, it is a more deliberate and confident Primo Henio. Now that he's got, you know, he's oh. under the tutelage of Halston body. And, and also, you know, I guess gonna pick up uh, some of Halston's tricks as well. Yeah, well, I, I think that we saw that confidence delve into arrogance after he handed Lord Crew that, that loss. And now why wouldn't you be confident when you have Halston Body ringside and his ability to alter the outcomes of matches? Absolutely. To your point, after that, you know, just enormous, gigantic upset over Lord Crew, got overconfident, cocky, ate a bunch of losses. Nice Japanese arm drag by the Mountain Breaker. Beautifully and done, Kodo forget Hero. about it. Boy, so smooth, like he's underwater, just so fluid. And he can catch you in a hurry, can Koto Hero. Nice, was looking for a neck breaker there. Primo able to get out of it. But look at the balance, the body control of Koto Hero landing on the apron. And there you see, taking his eye off the prize, though. Rendon Space. And that, you know, Koto Hero had he the who hesitates his loss. That split second misdirection cost him big knee right to the breadbasket. Yeah, that turned things around here in a hurry, and Halston didn't even have to do anything. Just his mere presence was enough to distract Koto Hero. Talking about breaking mountains, Koto Hero might have a couple broken ribs. What a pinpoint knee, and now the gut wrench isn't going to do him any favors. Look at the strength by Primo Henio into the gut buster. That abdominal region has a bullseye on it. Yeah, certainly the target. You can see it starting to welt up right there into the cover. Koto not going down easy, but yeah, that that is the target in a big time way for Primo Henio now. And if I'm, Pri if I'm Primo Henio, I mean, there, there's a lot riding on this for him. Imagine if he eats the L here. Well, now we've seen how Halston reacts to that when things don't go his protege's way. Sure. Ask Tom Kubrick how that goes. Yes. Yeah, thrown out like yesterday's uh, garbage. Oh! Man, just a nice form tackle there. Drove the legs to Primo Henio. We talked about being confident. It's certainly a more aggressive Primo Henio than we've ever seen. Yeah, on display right there. Official having to back him off. And now it was Primo Henio jawing with the official that gave Koto Hero the opening that perhaps he needs. Looking for that cross body, but Primo intercepted him. Too much power. Koto gonna go for a ride here. Oh, beautiful overhead. Varied T-bone there. Yeah, what Plants. a throw. Beautifully done right into the cover, deep into the leg. Thought he had it, he did not. Koto Hero is gonna fight on. We heard from Jack Banny. He's got his sights set on Jordan Cruz and the television title, saying he's gonna take 
his message to a worldwide television audience. We're still going to see the institution later on in tag team action as they take on Beef Candy. What a match that will be, as well as Willie Mac Talos in our main event. What an episode. God help us if Jack Banning gets his way, gets a hold of the, the bully pulpit that is television. I, I hope he does how I, you. Yeah, you know how I feel about him and all that history there. It's a scary, scary individual. But we got a good one going here right now. Back and forth, Cotto here on Primo right now. Cotto lighting up Primo, but right to the throat. Nice cross chop there. Right to the throat, as you mentioned. That'll slow you down in a hurry. The strength, but Koto Hero catching him is like catching smoke with your bare hands. Out the back door and uses the corner as an ally and got a big uh, face full of turnbuckle. Did Primo Henio. Look at Koto Hero move. Love the way this guy moves in the ring. Perry caught the cross body, went back to the well, it paid off, and I think momentum carried him over. Yeah, just a little bit too much, and that's what allowed Primo to escape. But right now, Cotto trying to build some momentum, doubles over Primo, lethal strikes. Double them up there, takes them over. A little bit of a handful of the hair. Cotto Hero coming in. PK going, going, gone. And uh, only accounted to, says referee Chris Massey. This one living up to the belly in a great uh, athletic contest here. And, and what a match. Who's going to get the victory? Still at play. Odo Hero looking to lock something in here, but fighting his way out once again. Primo Henio, I think, does have the edge in the power department. Agility uh, sides with Koto Hero. Yeah, that Enziguri, that might have equalized everything. Scrambling Primo. Koto looking to put the finishing touches on this one, perhaps. No, Primo speared him. What a counter. I think Koto Hero was looking for a shining wizard, which might have put it away. But Primo Henio was able to snatch victory, perhaps. Oh. From the jaws of defeat, he's got him softened I, up. I think I think Koto I think Koto might be I out think he's, here. I think he's completely out here. The referee's got to take a good look here. Oh, look, wait, what's going on? Uh, oh, look at it, look at Halston with insult. He, he had some sort of night nightstick belly club there. There's no need for that. There's no need for that. Are you kidding me? Curricular and Primo Henio with a strong assist gets the victory. Winner, El Primo Henio Trebeca. Well, I guess the lethal accessory living up to his moniker. Henio gets the victory. We'll be back with more.